Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to go over a quick tutorial on how to use color print. And this is gonna allow you to print multiple um, colors of filament within a single model uh, using a single extruder. So this tutorial is specifically gonna be covering how to use the Prusa i3 Mark III and also Simplify 3D. So um, their website says Slicer and Cura and it looks like KAS Slicer also work as um, a software uh, but I don't have experience in anything other than Simplify 3D and I also um, can't run tests on any other printers since I only have the i3 Mark III from Prusa so um, so not saying it's not worth a shot but I can't guarantee it'll work exactly the same way so going along with that I have this model loaded here and you can see there's some height changes that I'm gonna want to add some colors to and so what I need to do is figure out the layer height at which I want the color to change at. So I've loaded my model. I say prepare to print. So once I'm in here, I'm looking at this uh, tool head position in this bottom left hand corner uh, within the window. And right now my tool head is out all the way at the, the final thickness at 8.5. So what I need to do is uh, scroll my little slider back until I see where the text is starting to change and so right here if you can see this I've now been getting an outline of one of the letters here okay I scroll back anymore right so that's 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 where the first letter outline is happening and so once I know that I then look at my Z thickness over here that's my layer height or my total uh, thickness height um, and that, that is at 6.1 so that's the number we're gonna need to remember later on okay so uh, that's just about all you need out of the model in here is just to know when that layer uh, or the color change is going to happen based on the layer thickness so um, exit out make sure all your uh, settings are set up to, to the way you want uh, so like if I wanted to print this just at 20% infill on my PLA setting I just hit OK and then uh, I'm going to prepare to print it, save this thing out. Uh, I'll just save it on my desktop temporarily. I'm going to overwrite this test file, say yes. OK, so now if I did nothing else and went and put this in the printer, all it would do is print this in a single color. It doesn't, it's, it's not smart enough yet to know um, to pause and change material uh, for me. So that brings us into the next part. So color print is the development of uh, Joseph Prusa and his team, which allows a, us to upload that G-code we just created and then set uh, whatever layer height uh, that we want the color change to occur at. So um, again, read this page. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, looks like it just inserts a M600 command Again, it uh, supports G-code from these other slicers, but I'm just covering Simplify 3D and the application onto the, the Prusa i3 Mark III printer. So uh, this is where we put our G-code, so let's go and grab that real quick. This is the test file. And let's, let's make sure it grab the, the correct one. I'm just gonna refresh the page real quick because I've been doing this a lot. There we go. Okay, so we get a verification that the G code is loaded. It even knows it's Simplify 3D. Um, so the next thing you have to do is select what two tabs you're going to use. Again, this is the i3 Mark III printer. So we only have, or at least my printer only has a single extruder at this time. So I'm going to click on Standard. Okay, this box down here represents the, the layer height at which you want the material uh, change to occur at. So again, remembering what we saw in Simplify 3D and where the lettering actually begins, it was at 6.1. You can again see in the lower left hand, Z is 6.1. So that means I'm gonna be printing this whole bottom layer in one color. For me, it's gonna be black. And then after, um, once I hit layer thickness of 6.1, I then want the printer to pause and allow me to change the filament to white. And then uh, once I load that filament, it's going to 
um, purge out the old and replace it with the new. Uh, verify with me that it's ready and I click OK and then it's going to um, continue on with the rest of the print and then finish the print. So that's all there is to it. We then go and download the G code. Okay, you can see I've been doing a bunch of these test things. But so this test parentheses one G code, this represents our uh, G code that has the pause in the print with it. Okay, so this has the the color change in there. And that's about it. You throw that on your um, SD card and slap it in your printer and press go. And um, it'll print out, it'll pause itself at the layer height we chose. And then you'll switch the filaments and it'll continue on. Now you can go in and do multiple uh, color changes. Really, I don't know if there's even a limit to it. You could probably do it um, a whole bunch of times. But let's say you wanted, let's grab this model again. Let's say we wanted uh, the beginnings of these rings to be a different color. And then once the letters start, we want another color change. So we got to find where those rings start their print, which is right about here. So that's at 3.1. Okay, so we're going to bring this over. Oh, wrong one. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, bring this over. So I'm going to do 3.1. And then this next one is going to be 6.1. Okay, so if I were to download this G code and print it, it would start printing from 0 to 3.1 in a certain color. This little slider represents the material change. It then uh, keeps printing in the next color, which could be anything, could be white. And then once it reaches this slider, it's now going to do a, a, a second material change. And then once that's ready, it'll, it'll keep printing the rest of the model. So this represents a three color uh, print, potentially. Okay, so and that's all there is to it. Um, but again, this is kind of specific to what I'm running with but I'm sure you can get it running on your software and your printer. Uh, just the, the, the interfaces with the filament exchanging might be a little different depending on your printer. Um, so anyways, hope this is interesting and helpful. I think you should give it a shot. The prints that come out of it are actually uh, really neat. I did have an issue um, changing filament type, so I tried to do a uh, a PLA base and then ABS lettering because I, I had a, a color I wanted in, but it was an ABS and so what I did is I manually um, increased my nozzle temp after it started so I was able to change the filament out in the nozzle even with the, the temperature difference I was able to exchange it out and purge it and stuff like that and then boost the temperature for the rest of the printing and it, it did print, but the it did not adhere um, very well at all to the base of the PLA. And so I think it's just because it took a little little time for it to ramp up into the, its temperature. I uh, might be able to get it to work if I mess around with it a little bit more. But know that this does not yet control um, material changes it's it's really just for color changing so keep it PLA PLA or whatever you guys um, are printing with just keep it consistent between the spools and this should work really well um, all right that is it enjoy and I'll see you on the next one later